the initials SAB stand for School Accountability Board, and that's part of the uh, Restorative Justice Program. And this is a new program that we have uh, implemented in some of our middle schools. The Excambia County School District has received a state grant to implement a program, which hopefully is going to help the participating schools um, modify some inappropriate behavior of students. I'm here to restore the justice. This basically realize what I did and realize it and then fix the problem, fix the resolution. I think the program, it was um, really good. It actually helped me in Keeling to be like, actually like closer friends and stuff. I'm, like, I'm here because I want to, um, you know, put back into the school what I, what I, what the kids have lost, you know, like part of their education time. I, I believe that it's my fault, really, because I took away from what they were supposed to be learning. When you work out the problems that you have, I mean, instead of keeping everything bottled up, bottled up, you um you work it out and and then it um, makes a better friend. If I got suspended, y'all would see me looking like Freddy Krueger when I came back to school. If I would have got suspended, my my life would have been like a dead man walking. Um. Well, I like to text and talk and. None of that, all that would have been gone. My mom, she does not play. Like, she's real serious about my education. She wants me to go to the right path and graduate and don't drop out, don't be a bum and all that. I learned from this mistake and I gained experience and now I know that um, I have to um, control myself more and handle the situation better and think about what I'm going to do. I learned from my experience. I know that not to do this again because all this can happen. And um, it takes, it can take other folks time for what they got to do that's important to them. Instead of like bailing out of what they got to do, they come see what's happening. Excellent program. I mean, y'all y'all should really keep this program because it, it, it not only solves the problems, but it brings people close together. And that's what some people need in the school. The biggest thing that I can say is that hopefully we're trying to bring um, not just uh, a student with issues and behaviors into some type of punitive adjustment, but trying to find out what's really going on with them and involving um, their family, their parents, grandparents, and the community at large uh, to make a difference in their lives and hopefully give them an alternative to just going through the traditional uh, in-school suspension or out-of-school suspension, trying to keep the kids in school and, and doing something for them meeting their needs. Years ago, had a village. Everyone took care of the other neighbors' children, and if anybody, any kid got in trouble, they would notify the parents. This way, um, with the more community involvement with the children, if children have more than one person to come to if they get in trouble. Because many times I found that their parents are unable to always, not always come up to the schools because they're working. And I feel like I'm that person who stands in for them to support them, to let them know that, hey, mother's not here, but I am willing and, and very much interested in what's happening to you. And I'll do that part to assist mom or dad when they can't appear. Well, I recognize some um, very similar things that uh, I had experienced as a mediator and an attorney. In particular, as a mediator, what I see this program doing is giving everybody an opportunity to speak and to listen and to be heard, perhaps in some cases for the very first time. And I found that as a mediator that that was probably the solution to many of the problems that we encountered. For the first time the person was heard and not only was heard but had the opportunity to take ownership in the solution to the problem. The main thing for me is that the students take responsibility for their behavior. So it's not put off on uh, a teacher or a family member as we help them develop into great citizens. They take responsibility. In that regard it's not punitive. It's actually um, a discipline but it's discipline with love and I think that's the difference. So this is, to me is the final step to keep them in school and uh, I like it because um, uh, we are able to sit with them and, and give them some alternatives and some ways that can prevent them from being expelled really from school. 
we look at this program as an alternative to another type of discipline. And most parents would prefer that their kids go through a program where they can get some help or where they can get some help with their children rather than have the kid at home suspended from school or in a program like an in-school suspension program for several days or something of that nature. So it's not a forced on the parent situation. They do have an option, and, uh, but most do choose to participate in the program. I think it's really a very common sense approach to school discipline. I, f I love the way that it takes, um, it uses the community as a resource, it uses the school community, the, the outside community, the student, the victim, and really uh, rather than using law enforcement and dealing with school discipline problems. Success is coming to the school accountability board meeting, talking to the members, admitting what you did, apologizing to the school, apologizing to the victim, apologizing to family members, and then allowing the school accountability board to come up with consequences, agreeing to the consequences, and then doing everything that they can to follow through themselves as a person with those consequences, which basically means change behavior. And we've seen some grades change as well as some behavior changes.